Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Good Sunday morning, ladies and gentlemen. I've got Ben morning. in the car. Say hello. hello. <laughs> well, you said good morning. I was just like yeah. making sure they said good morning. So Ben, you're talking about. Ben's all geared up to go to work, uh, but I can't be stranded at home without a car, so I'm driving him to work, and then I was gonna take you on a little tour of uh, the 400 flea market. I've never taken you guys there, and thought I'd do something cool today for the vlog. Pretty cool little location. Yeah, did you have anything to eat there last time you were there? Um, no. Have you, what was your favorite thing? You've, you've had their uh, poutine. Yeah, the poutine's really good. Yeah. We'll get Ben to work, and then we will go to the 400 flea market, and then after the 400 flea market, we will um, do a food review because I need one for tomorrow. If I don't want to, if I don't do one today, then I'll just have to go out tomorrow and do it. Dropped Ben off, now I'm on my way up to the 400 flea market. I say Barry, but it's not still Innisfil. Leaving Bradford, going Innisfil. Hello, sir. How are you today? All right, how are you doing? Not too bad. Enjoying life. Excellent. There you go. Thank have you. You too. Enjoying life. I love it. Good attitude, sir. I couldn't remember how much it cost to park here, but obviously it's a dollar, which is half decent. So let's go check out the 400 flea market. All right, the 400 flea market has hundreds of shops. Everything from things from China to little gun store. I'm not sure if they actually sell real guns or they're all fake or whatever. To clothing, everything, food. Let's go check it out. I've ever seen the flea market a few empty stalls which is kind of concern concerning like three in a row three empty stalls but uh, maybe Saturdays are way busier it's, it's good when it's busy and I can do some time-lapse it makes it cooler Get some sweet rims while I'm here, eh? Get some camel rims. What if they're composite? Nope. Aluminum. 600 bucks. 200 bucks. 300 bucks. That looks cool. I don't know if I'd want shiny or black. There's other things I'd rather spend my money on right now. We got toys. They got jewelry. 
They've got food, phone holders, paintings, and this guy sells bugs. <laughs> am, I, uh, am I on film? Yes, you are. What are you selling? Butterflies and bugs. Butterflies and bugs. That is very cool and unique. What's your favorite? Do you see Silence of the Lambs? Yes. Oh, that's the one? Silence of the Lambs. better one there. Oh, nice. And is, do you know the name of the actual moth that they used? Oh, because you can see the little thing right in the back there. That's gorgeous. Very cool store, sir. That's a pair of monarchs. Monarchs. And these are Canadian. Canadian butterflies. There's the largest moth in the world. The Atlas moth. The lunar moth, you said? Lunar moth. Very cool. They got sports stuff. More phone cases. Electronic surveillance systems. Purses. Leather. Shoes. Flashy light things. Stuff from around the world. Rastafarian stuff. Drug paraphernalia. Rolling papers. Remote control stuff. This place has pretty much everything. So they have the indoor stuff. They have the outdoor stuff. And then they have this area over here, which is all the antique stuff. Let's go check it out. It's like walking through a museum. Amazing stuff. Kind of like the Chucky doll. Out of all the stuff, the Chucky doll. Good guy doll. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? It's like nobody's attending these shops or these stores. Very bizarre. I remember these models when I was a kid. I actually had this one. My favorite model though was the Huey helicopter from Vietnam. It'd be interesting to know if they had it. Nope. Moving on. Well, it's been a while since I've been to the antique part of the flea market. It was kind of cool, but I kind of figured out that that's pretty much the whole thing is like one big store. And then you have to bring your stuff to the front and then they will uh, check you out. So it's kind of like the flea market, but there's only a few people kind of running that spot. Well, that's the 400 flea market. I guess I got here kind of early because now the parking lot's almost full. Not too many parking spots left. All right, let's move on to something new. If I can get in my car. There we go. up to Barry and I'm just gonna go inside go to the washroom wash my hands and uh, do the flatbread thing people kept telling me of this flatbread and I'm like is it in Canada because so many things that people ask me to do are only in the States but apparently it's here in Canada so let's go in and get some food
all freshened up. I'm gonna set up all my stuff, do the whole drive-through. Uh, not a lot of people here, so hopefully the drive-through goes by pretty quickly. Yes, they do sell the flatbread thing here. Uh, they sell like just the sandwich, they sell it, sell it regular, they sell it spicy, they sell it in a box, uh, they sell it with buckets and everything. So I guess this seems like it's just a flatbread. They put the chicken in instead of a sandwich, it's flatbread. So let's go give it a shot. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, 300,000 views we get out of this. That's the wish every single time. As you can see, I'm all set up. Light one, light two, camera one, camera two. I had to go heavy on the, uh, the little visor thing going on there because very bright day out. I don't want the sun to be hitting the, uh, the uh, fisheye lens from any specific angles. Uh, another thing I noticed when I went and turned my mic on, it was already in the on position, dead battery. So I had to zip over to uh, Shoppers Drug Mart there. And uh, this time I bought two batteries, just in case I ever do that again. Uh, so I've wrapped up the other one to make sure I know uh, that the other battery is fresh because I had an extra battery in there, but it was dead too. So I got to remember to take out dead batteries and things like that so that this doesn't happen. And uh, not that it was a bad thing or anything. I just Luckily, there was a store nearby, and there's usually a store nearby, isn't there? All right, so let's get our food, uh, do the review, and uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back into the vlog. I was just telling the Uncut and Raw I haven't put up Uncut and Raw in a while, so maybe I'll do that today. Not this one, but one of the ones I've done recently that I, that I haven't done. So say bye-bye to Uncut and Raw people. We'll shut off camera one, two. I mean, we'll shut off camera two first. Camera one, two. And that's all she wrote for that. Shut off our lights. One, two, three. Ow! That is so hot. One, two, three. All right, uncut and raw. Oh, I forgot to do the little thingy. Ready? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. That's how I end off all my videos. It's just, you know, thank you very much for watching my videos. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, uncut and raw. Say bye to the vlog people. Vlog people say bye to the uncut and raw. And that's all she wrote. Shut this camera off. Oh, I just turned it to camera as opposed to video camera. There, now it's off. Is this on? Okay, as long as this is running, I'm good. All right, so I got to clean this all up and then we'll head home and uh, possibly shave and shower because I'm like now hot and sweaty and icky and one of those. Just doing a little experiment here uh, with the camera. Uh, as I was taking the mic off the stand that I have on my windshield, the elastic fell off and I'm like, hey, why don't I just leave the elastic on there all the time and hold that camera to it? So I just wanted to test it to see if it's vibrating as much as it does when I uh, see that it's vibrating there when I hit a bump. But I don't think it's shaking as much as it does when it's not like attached to it with a rubber band or an elastic. <laughs> Somebody was amused that I called something an elastic. Same thing, isn't it? Rubber band elastic. All right, let's go home, kick back, relax, get all this information into the computer, and then maybe do that ditch. It's too hot. Let's just go home.